perhaps surprisingly, I'm not going to talk about a poet as my source of inspiration today, but instead about a cyclist, Lizzie Daydenen, who was born Lizzie Armitstead. She's an elite level professional women's cyclist um, who's been a road racer since 2006 and has won the coveted world championships, not once, but twice, and the national championships four times. She's inspirational for a couple of reasons. Firstly, that she, along with a clutch of other women road racers, has really dragged women cycling into the 21st century, campaigning for equal rights, equal coverage, and equal pay for female racers. And whilst we're not there yet, she has helped the cycling world to make great stri strides towards equality. Secondly, though, something that marks her out as particularly remarkable is the simple fact of becoming pregnant in 2018. At a time when maternity leave really doesn't exist for elite level sportswomen and having a baby often marks the end of a career. Not so for Dagenan, who struck a deal with her team that if her results were good enough when she came back in 2020, it would keep a place open for her and bring her back on as a fully salaried member. So although she had to take a sabbatical, the place was kept open for her just in case. Well, I'll just read some of her results from when she did come back in 2020. Overall standing in the UCI Women's World Tour, first. In the Classic Race Liège-Bastogne-Liège, first. In the GP de Plouet, first. And in the women's version of the Tour de France, yeah, you guessed it, first. So for those two reasons, Lizzie Armitstead is a remarkable woman. She has helped to drag rights, pay and coverage for female cyclists into the 21st century and helped prove to doubting employers that motherhood and elite level achievement are indeed compatible. A woman who really inspires me is Jacinda Ardern, the current Prime Minister of New Zealand. Some of her achievements include the fact that at age 37, she is the youngest head of government in the world. Uh, secondly, she's actually the second person in the world to both conceive and deliver a child whilst holding office. Following the 2019 tragic Christchurch shootings, she set a record in the time taken to turn around the gun laws. So the shootings happened on the 15th of March 2019 and by the 11th of April, she had not only changed the gun laws, but also set up a successful buyback scheme, which drastically reduced the number of firearms in New Zealand very, very quickly. And she's widely known on the world stage for her modern leadership because of her empathy, her progressive outlook, and the fact that she readily embraces diversity. Why in particular uh, she inspires me is because despite the fact that she's uh, achieved all these things, she is still very tied to her roots. And that comes across really well in her open leadership and how empathetic she is to the people that she meets, regardless of their background. Um, and is very, very open to meeting people in the first place. And secondly, I think she's used her platform as Prime Minister to show the challenges that come with having children and a successful career. Uh, and her and her partner have spoken very openly about that and have campaigned evidently to get uh, rules changed around that so that women can more easily uh, pursue a great career uh, whilst also having children. So that's why she's an inspiration to me. Hi, I'm Queen. Hi, I'm Ta, and we're both from Thailand. Yeah. Who would you be thinking of if I were to ask you about the women of Thailand? Well, there are definitely a lot of female achievements, I know. But one Thai female that really impressed me is called Princess Nakarintara, or she's, she's the grandmother of our current king. Really? I guess she must be a very well-respected person. Why is that? She's known to be a very considerate and generous person. So she would always tell her grandchildren or children to save every 10% of the savings in little piggy banks. And she would call them piggy banks for the poor. And what happened to all the savings? Well, at the end of every month, she would ask her children how the money was spent, whether they donate to School for the Blind or even the Orphanage Foundation. 
Wow, that probably white Thai people call her the royal grandmother. And I think that probably influenced Thailand in a good way since the royal family one being well thought. That's right. Everything she taught shaped our royal family members so that Thailand can proudly have the admirable royal family. And since the 8th of March is the International Women's Day, I would like you all to recognize the female achievements and also stand up for women's rights and equality. Happy, Happy International Women's Day. Day. <laughs> Thank you. I bet everyone here has heard of Florence Nightingale, and rightfully so. She has got to be one of the most incredible women in history. Nightingale's work changed the lives of people all over the world for the better, as she was the founder of modern nursing, an English social reformer, statistician and many more. Nightingale came to fame during the Crimean War while serving as a manager and trainer of nurses. During this time she cared for wounded soldiers at Constantinople, and without her many soldiers would not have survived the war. She became an icon of Victorian society and was nicknamed the Lady with the Lamp. This was due to the fact she worked day and night to help soldiers in need. She became an icon for women who aspired to do men's jobs, as it was uncommon for women to become doctors and nurses in those days. Without Florence Nightingale, it would have taken longer for women to pluck up the courage to follow their dreams, and people would not have a role model of a woman who helped soldiers whilst carrying a lamp in the night. Many things have now been named after her, such as the Nightingale Pledge, taken by new nurses, the Florence Nightingale Medal, the highest distinction a nurse can achieve, the annual Nurses' Day is celebrated on her birthday, and also the new temporary hospitals built to help the worldwide pandemic that we all know, COVID-19. She helped to abolish many laws that were unfair for women, and helped to persuade workforces to accept more women. She was an accomplished writer, publishing rights about medicine, spreading her wealth of knowledge to many more people. Nightingale inspires me, as it has always been my dream to become a doctor, especially after learning about this incredible woman, who saved so many lives and paved the way for women to come.